Hello, War Eagles. I'm Derek. And I'm Rylan. Let's start this week's news by taking it to our sports team. Hey, War Eagles. It's Peyton here with your sports for this week. On Friday, our football team will take on North Hall here at home. It's a big region game, so make sure to come out and the theme is blackout. On Saturday, competition tier will be at Commerce High School. And finally, looking to next week's football game, our football team will travel to Cedar Shores. And that's all the sports I have for you guys this week. Hello, War Eagles. My name is Giselle. And I'm Betsy. And we are here with the Hope Club. Starting Monday of next week, we will be selling these pulseras and purses during all three lunches. So pulseras will be sold for $7, and the bags will be sold for $15 during all three lunches. As well as we are going to be selling goodie bags during all three lunches with the pulseras and the bags. The Pulsera Project is a fair trade nonprofit organization that works with artisans in Central America and provides a market for their handmade bracelets or pulseras in schools across the U.S. Each pulsera costs only $7 and comes tagged with the photo and the signature of the artist who made it. Money raised from your school's pulsera sale will sustain employment for hundreds of artisans and will also fund programs like housing, healthcare, scholarships, social enterprises, and other empowerment programs that benefit the artisans and communities throughout Central America. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing time coloring the world with the Pulsera Project in your school. Today at 3 p.m., there will be a pep rally that will take place halfway through 7th period. Come out and support your War Eagles. Just a reminder that Math Lab is still open on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays before and after school in the Learning Commons. Sign up is not required. Grade level activities are planned for October 25th. Ninth grade will participate in High School 101. Tenth grade will take the PSAT. Eleventh grade will have financial literacy lessons. And twelfth grade will have post-secondary tours for local campuses. Now let's go to the weather team. And uh... Yeah, that's how, uh, that's how I burned down my house. Okay, um, sheesh, okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is a ink blot test, all right? So, so what, uh, I'm, you're making me take a, uh, little blot test because I'm insane? Okay, I never said you were insane, all right? Let's, don't put words in my mouth. All right, here's the, here's the first one. Okay, um... A dot that's been smushed. Uh, all right. Um. Here's the second one. Second one. Um. Looks like someone spilled ink on the paper. Okay. Um. Here's the third one. The third one's just the weather. Oh, it's a blank piece of paper. What, what do you mean it's blank? It it's a it's a blank piece of paper. Here, give it to me. I give mean, it to me. Here, go ahead if you want to look at it. Give, okay. D does this look blank to you? I I can. Well, I can see it perfectly fine. Here's your weather, Chesty. On Friday, we're going to have a high of 73 and a low of 46 with 3% chance of rain. On Saturday, we'll have a high of 80 and a low of 54 with a 3% chance of rain. And on Sunday, we're going to have a high of 77 and a low of 57 with a 4% chance of rain. The rest of the week is going to be pretty sunny, Chesty. Who are you talking to? Okay. Have a great day and go War Eagles! So for those of you who do not know what UGA Cor Coral Day is, we sing for the whole day. We watch, uh, well, we sing with the UGA singers and then we watch the solo performances for like an hour. Then we eat lunch and we just sing our two songs that were given to us like two weeks ago or something like that. To enjoy love of music and fun. <laughs> yeah.
David Barton is back with your tech tip for the week. Let's see what he has for us. Hey Trusty, welcome to your weekly tech tip. So this week, we have a new way to log into Infinite Campus. Why? Because they felt like changing it. So here's how you do it. So when you log into Infinite Campus, you might notice that there's a new single sign-on button at the top. And if you try to input your student ID and password in the slot at the bottom, you may notice that it doesn't work anymore and it gives you a little, little pop-up and you get very angry and frustrated. Well, don't worry, because if you press a single sign-on button, that brings you to Launch Point, which if you haven't logged into Launch Point already, We'll make you log in again. And then it'll send you to Infinite Campus after the login's complete. If you're already logged into LaunchPoint, you don't need to sign into Infinite Campus. So if you reuse the computer a lot, then there you go, you don't have to sign into Infinite Campus anymore. Now coming at you with another tech tip. If you want to specifically search for a certain term in a site, you can use a Chrome feature called site colon. That's what it's called. In the address bar, you type in uh, site colon the website URL, so let's say twitter.com. Why would you ever want to go there? I don't know, but example. And you want to search for monkeys on twitter.com. Well, if you type in monkey after the URL, there you go. It's a list of all Twitter URLs, but it's everything that has to do with monkeys or something that has a monkey in it. That's all for this week. I'm here with William Araujo. Okay, and what's your favorite scary movie? My favorite scary movie would probably have to be Scary Movie 3, probably. It's not scary, but like, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great, I'm here with Coach DeGraff. Okay, what's your favorite scary movie? The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a good one. Thank you. I'm here with Havilland. Okay, and what's your favorite scary movie? Um, probably Into the Tall Grass. Never heard of it. Um, it is on Netflix. Okay, I'll search it up. Thank you. Well, everyone, that's all the news we have for this week. Have a great weekend, and go, go War Eagles! Eagles.